Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Divergent Changemakers uh, 2021 uh, Virtual DNI Summit. Uh, today, we are going to have some great uh, uh, speakers. Let me share my screen. Okay. I'll be the moderator. My name is Carrie Rosado. All right, let's get started and welcome. Uh, we'll get started with the very first topic, which is uh, neurodiversity is good for business. I'll be presenting on that. Uh, then we'll move on to uh, change is an opportunity for growth, confidently you, and leading unapologetically. At noon, we'll take an intermission. We'll have music playing in the background. And then in the afternoon session, uh, we'll dive into implicit bias and microaggressions. So let's get started. Neurodiversity is good for business. Let me introduce myself uh, a little bit about my background. I was originally born in Nicaragua, which is in Central America. So I am Latina and I do speak Spanish. I'm also an elected official. I serve currently at a school, at a school uh, district as a school board trustee and we serve students from preschool all the way to eighth grade. So it's a small district. I'm also the founder and DNI consultant of Divergent Consulting Group, LLC, which focuses on providing trainings uh, to support organizations who are looking to launch uh, DNI programs. We support them in leadership, uh, inclusive leadership, and other topics related to DNI. In addition, I'm a neurodiversity uh, advocate since I have two kids on the spectrum. They're eight and 10, they have autism. And in addition, I'm also a podcast uh, host of Divergent Changemakers, which is available on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and also on Amazon Music. So let's dive in. So what is neurodiversity exactly? It's actually a movement that really helps to embrace um, the diversity of how the brain functions. We all have different ways of thinking, and some of us are born with um, certain dis uh, mental uh, conditions or disorders, such as autism spectrum. Um, it's also a viewpoint that helps kind of normalize or stabilize um, in, in viewing uh, the differences in how we think as normal and not as a deficit. This helps reduce any stigma that comes with uh, having a mental disorder um, and really helps to embrace the different ways we all have when it comes to learning and thinking and analyzing problems. So one of those conditions is autism and autism spectrum disorder is actually um, impacts an individual in different areas and can impact uh, their social ability, how they interact with other people. Um, it also impacts uh, in the sense that they have repetitive behaviors, also known as stimming, um, and their ability to speak. So their speech, some may have more speech delays than others. In some situations, an individual can be completely nonverbal and have to use um, devices to communicate with others. Um, and it also impacts how they understand nonverbal communication, which uh, he, in society, um, a big part of our communication is nonverbal, such as gestures or looks that we give people. People on the spectrum have more challenges on picking up on these social cues. Having said that, though, uh, because this is a spectrum, individuals with uh, autism um, can range. Uh, they have different abilities and strengths, uh, challenges, obviously, and um, can be very high skilled in another area and have very severe challenges in another. So no two individuals on the spectrum will be the same or even display uh, the same behaviors. They have different ways of thinking, learning, and problem solving. Here are some autism facts you, not, you may not be aware of, but um, only 14% of adults with autism are actually employed in the United States. So there's a significant amount of individuals that we need to get into the uh, workforce. Um, according to the Center for Disease Control, at least one in 59 kids will be diagnosed with this condition. That's a pretty high number. 
Um, how are we preparing in the workforce? Um, it also states that within the next decade, at least 500 teens will enter into adulthood, meaning they'll be going into the employment. How are we getting prepared to better support individuals on the spectrum as employers? Um, it's also well known that individuals with autism do face more challenges than individuals who have different disabilities. So something to keep in mind. Um, and the annual cost um, in the United States is estimated about 236 billion annually for both direct and indirect costs uh, for individuals uh, who have autism. So something to keep in mind. Um, as employers, we really want to ensure we're supporting these individuals and society as a whole uh, to ensure uh, we're helping them become more independent and able to contribute to society as a whole. So what are the employment benefits to the individual should they become employed within an autism at work program? Well, uh, they gain more independence, they're able to live a better quality of life, uh, they're actually able to contribute to society uh, because they're employed, um, they feel more included. Um, we're definitely embracing a more inclusive culture by uh, developing an autism aware program. Um, we're giving them that capacity to become more financially stable and is likely to fall into unemployment. And we just saw the cost that the United States reported, you know, 236 billion annually. Um, that's a significant cost. So uh, there definitely are benefits to employing these individuals in the workforce. I did want to highlight some leaders that are well known who are neurodiverse or on the spectrum. Some of these leaders include Bill Gates, who's well known as the founder of Microsoft. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, who's a comedian slash actor. He's well known as well. Uh, Temple Grandin, who is a professor, but also a major advocate for uh, autism since she's on the autism spectrum herself. Uh, Tim Burton, who's a director best known for films such as Beetlejuice or Alice in Wonderland. Um, these are clear indicators. These individuals uh, um, are, you know, a clear demonstration of how uh, with the right support system and opportunities given uh, to individuals on the spectrum, they can become individuals who can contribute to society in a positive way and uh, be an asset. So um, something to keep in mind. So what are those desirable traits that they bring to the workforce? Um, typically, uh, individuals on the spectrum are well known for being very analytical, having that great attention to detail, being very visual. And those are great skills, especially in the STEM career, such as engineering or science. Another great thing to highlight is they have very low absenteeism, which is great, you know, from an employer's perspective, we don't want our employees missing work, right? We want them to be there and feel comfortable and welcome. Um, they're also very innovative, which is great for any industry, as we want to always uh, stay ahead of our competitors. So um, these are all, all great skills we want any employee to possess. And this is something that an individual with the spread on the spectrum can bring. I did want to highlight though, again, because autism is a spectrum, you will have some individuals who are highly skilled and other individuals who are um, have more challenges. And so um, it can vary. It's just something to keep in mind. So what are the benefits to an organization actually implementing an autism at work program? One very important thing to, to keep in mind is uh, you'll actually be enhancing the brand for your organization because you'll become known as an organization that is diverse and inclusive, which is great for, uh, from a PR perspective. Um, and you'll draw in more individuals who are diverse to your organization. You'll also be able to meet your demand for IT positions. We know that there are more open positions that we can actually fill in the IT industry. And as we saw, some of the characteristics that people on the spectrum bring are highly analytical. They're very visual, that attention to detail, which are great for STEM careers. Um, yeah, so you're, you're employing individuals who have great characteristics. Um, and also, 
um, you may discover you already have employees who are on the spectrum and you didn't even realize it. So by establishing an autism work program, you know, you're actually encouraging them and empowering them. So something great uh, that you'll want to do. Um, in addition, when you do establish an autism at work program, that does involve training the management on how to better communicate clearly the vision and vision of the team. So um, the managerial skills will improve because you'll be learning to communicate more effectively with individuals in a very concise manner and help reduce that ambiguity that often exists in the workplace and uh, can really help you uh, really streamline and become more efficient and productive as a whole. So there are uh, clear benefits to the individual, to the organization as a whole as well. Uh, I did wanna highlight organizations that have already established an autism aware program successfully. Uh, they include Microsoft, Earth and Young, SAP and JP Morgan Chase. And they've had an autism program now for some time. Uh, they even came together and, uh, with the University of Washington to develop what is known as the Autism at Work Playbook, which is a great resource. I highly recommend you take a look at that. And it really helps to outline uh, the different steps you want to take when you're first establishing an Autism at Work program uh, within your org. Other great resources are the Stanford Neurodiversity Project, which actually they host an annual summit. Uh, the dates for 2021 have not been released. Last year, the summit was held in the fall. So we have yet to see the dates have not been released yet. Another great summit I have, would like to recommend is the Microsoft Ability Summit that's coming up. It's a great way to better get acquainted with um, how you can better support individuals with different disabilities. And of course, the Autism at Work Playbook, which is essential to establish an Autism at Work uh, program. So what are the key takeaways from today's discussion? Uh, one, um, neurodiversity is a viewpoint that helps embrace the different ways the brain can function and helps reduce that stigma that comes with any type of mental disorder. Um, individuals with the autism spectrum really do possess great uh, employable skills, such as analytical skills, highly visual, and that attention to detail. Uh, by taking the opportunity to um, embrace autism and neurodiversity and becoming more inclusive and developing an autism at work program, you're actually enabling and empowering and improving and enhancing your, uh, your own company brand and becoming more known as an inclusive organization, which is great. Um, and we saw how uh, top enterprise organizations have established successfully autism at work programs, such as Microsoft, SAP, and Ernst & Young. Uh, a great way to stay connected with me is through my website, uh, divergencg.com, divergent with a Y or email me directly at carrie at divergencg.com uh, or uh, listening to our podcast, uh, Divergent Changemakers, which is available on both Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and now Amazon Music. Thank you for listening to me today. I really appreciate uh, being here. Um, any questions I can answer. <laughs>